Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. All right, so we have the Two of Wands. The Fool. Aquarius energy. We have the Sun. Leo energy. The Justice, labor energy. Clarify the two of wands. Dark night of the soul. Clarify the fool. The chariot, cancer energy. Clarify the sun. The king of cups. Pisces, cancer, Scorpio energy. Clarify the justice card. And we have the ace of pentacles. Somebody's at this period in this, their life where, whether this is you or this person, your twin, where they're possibly going through the dark night of the soul. They're doing a lot of introspection. Um, you guys are most likely in separation. Uh, they're thinking a lot about their future and what what's next, which path, two to two on the camera. Um, they're trying to figure out what is like what's coming next, but we do have the full here. It's almost like somebody's about to come out of that period. Like, it's like somebody's been in like the dark night of the soul where they've been kind of just like not taking any action on any on something. It's like they've been in this like period where they, they haven't made up their mind. They're indecisive. They are doing a lot of thinking and contemplating. They are realizing some things. You guys have been in separation. They haven't 100% picked a path or a direction that they want to go in yet. But with the fool and the chariot, that gives me the vibe of somebody kind of like taking a leap of faith impulsively choosing a path like somebody is about to get to that point where they take they 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 get that direction that they've been looking for or even if they don't 100 percent know that that's exactly it's like they're gonna just take a leap of faith and do something here um yeah it's like somebody has actually realized their feelings and emotions with the sun and the king of cups it's like also somebody's feelings and emotions have grown for you it's like somebody's feelings and emotions have like changed but like they've deepened they've gotten stronger Somebody could have also like emotionally matured here, but I really feel like if somebody wasn't sure how they felt about you, they, they know now, or they will by the time they come out on the other end of this dark night of the soul period. Okay. I feel like you have, you're, you're about to get what you deserved in the, in the form of a balanced reciprocal connection here, a steady union. This could even be for some of you, a job. It can be money. Like you're going to finally get some money that you're owed. Um, you're about to get the relationship, the committed relationship that you're about to get you deserve. This could also be a new love offer coming in. Tell me more. Look at this. Nine of Cups. What did I just say? Wish is coming true. So you're about to get wish fulfillment. Look at this manifesting you. And whoever this is, whatever this is that you're manifesting, and it looks like it is a relationship. It does look like it is a union. It is possibly somebody that you manifested or somebody that's trying to manifest a union with you. And it's somebody that you desire as well. If there's mutual desire between you and this person, you guys are coming into alignment, getting on the same page, getting on the same frequency. And that is how union can manifest. But see, it's after a period of soul searching and solitude, a period of withdrawal, Virgo energy. So if you're not in separation from this person and you haven't been in separation from them, 444 on the camera as I'm saying that. Um, for a while, this either isn't your reading or you still have some time that you're going to spend apart from this person. Like unions not, if you haven't gone into a, like a longer period of no contact with this person, you have a while, like, you, you know, before this reading will manifest for you, if, if it's your reading. So yeah, six of swords, the forbidden, and we have the ace of cups. So the Six of Swords, the Forbidden, and the New... What about Forbidden? The Star, the Worst is Over. It's almost like things are about to get better because, like, there's, like, this sense of, like, optimism. One of you was more healed than the other. Or, like, there was, like, big differences between you and this person. Like, irreconcilable differences that are kind of being bridged to ear. Which is leading to a new beginning in love. Tell me more. We have, oh, what's the Seven of Swords? The Five of Wands. And the Ten of Swords. 
So there was some type of betrayal here, a, an argument, and then a, a painful ending. It could also be that somebody is ready to move on from something, but, and it has nothing to do with you. It, ready to move on from something and heal. But this ending is leading to some type of like conflict and like betrayal, painful ending. Yeah, but there is a cycle that's ending here. It's like something's ending and then somebody's coming towards you. What is this? So what does this ending have to do with my collective? The four of cups and the unawakened. Doesn't totally. So this could have even been you guys closing out a cycle with this person because it was very clear that you and this person just were not on the same page or on the same wavelength. Somebody feels like they were rejected or you, yeah, you rejected an offer from them or you just weren't interested in what they were offering you, if, if anything, at the time because they were unawakened. Yeah, it doesn't totally understand their love for you. That's changed, though. So I do see that there was like a fight between you and this person. Um, they could have tried to initiate some type of new beginning with you in the past, but they were doing it in a very like sneaky and deceptive way. That they were not being honest, that they're being deceptive. They could even be spying on you, but it's like... There was like a fight or a conflict. There was a, what, what is this fight and this conflict over? What a catch. And ghosting. No closure. Wanting to conquer fear of losing you. But why is ghosting here? Somebody acting like they don't care that something ended between the two of you when they know that it, but actually losing you is a big loss because they view you as somebody that they fear losing and somebody that is a catch. But they're trying to act elusive. Yeah, long wait. And the night somebody's been taking forever and a lifetime to do something here to change, to transition. Yeah, magician. Make things happen with you. Yeah, eight of cups. There's something that needs to be released or let go of, walked away from before anything can manifest between the two of you. And what did. <sighs> Yeah, they've been juggling you, juggling, weighing options. They weren't sure if they wanted to let this other connection go for whatever reason. Rejection. What's the T? It's like at some point they were like trying to fight for a connection with you or have a connection with you while they were like the, at the same time juggling you. Or they weren't even sure about you. It's weird. Hold on. problem was here what was the problem and the issue between my collective and their twin what was the barriers the blockages the barriers and blockages spirit the fox see there's something yeah bickering conflict and opposition were there people trying to work against this connection yeah we have these same cards coming out betrayal painful ending some type of what, what was the ten of swords what was the Ten of Swords? Children. Why are children affecting your connection? Why do I feel like they had something going on that was completely opposite, like that had nothing to do with you? It's like there's something completely, unless you're the one that has kids with this person and you guys had some type of conflict over children, there was a situation going on outside of you. Because what does that have to do with you? Judgment. Scorpio energy, we have the nine of cups and we have the rejection card. Somebody wanting another chance, but you rejected them. But what does this have to do with the five of wands, the ten of swords and children ripped apart? Vulnerable and love, love exposed the truth about nine of wands. See, there's something here about lustful, risk taker, sudden arrival. They did something. Mm -hmm. They did something here, the hermit. And they're doing a lot about they're doing a lot of thinking about what they did, what they did. It's like somebody wants another chance with you, but they think you're going to reject them because. Hold up. These cards are falling down. Okay. Tell me more. 
Guys, when I tell you that this Ten of Swords keeps coming out, they betrayed you. I don't know exactly. We're going to take a deeper look at that in a second. Um, they did something that betrayed to betray you. That Ten of Swords. Look at this. Knight of Wands again. So they were cheating. They were being lustful. They were, they were living like a reckless lifestyle. They were wishy-washy in and out of your life. Could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo, or a Sag. It's like they would spend some time with you and they would leave again. Ghost you. Yeah. But we have the magician, Aries, Virgo, Gemini energy for me, and cold as ice. It's like they would make it seem like they wanted something with you and then they would leave. Yeah, it's like they'd make it seem like they really wanted to make something happen with you. And then they would go cold on you, ghost you, that they were sending you mixed signals. So tell me more. You guys decided to maybe move on from them or Spirit is saying that things will improve. Things will get better. Yeah. Replaying events, suffering in silence. What about that? Five of Swords. What about Five of I feel like this is somebody that moved on to another situation, a toxic situation. What? Like, why did they do that, though? This is somebody that tried to move on from you or they moved on to another situation, it looks like here. While they're wishing for you, they're thinking about everything that happened between the two of you. They're over in this other situation and they're thinking about you suffering in silence while they're in this situation where there's a lot of mind games, toxicity, um, betrayal, like, and they're hiding their feelings and emotions for you. Why are they doing this? But they're still in this like indecisive energy about whether or not they want to come in and they want to release if they want to release. So it's also like they don't know if they want to come in and spill their guts to you, tell you how they really feel. But they definitely have been undecided about whether or not they want to release another, like, toxic situation. Why are they so indecisive about it, though? The Emperor, Aries Energy, the Hanged Man. There's something that they're going to have to give up. Yeah, third-party situation. Yeah, Three of Swords cannot be trusted. Forbidden. Why are they being weird about releasing this this other situation? So we have the, it flew across the damn room, but it's the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe they feel like whoever this person is, uh, it could be Earth sign, a Taurus or a Capricorn, but this person's very stable. They maybe have a lot of money. See the devil, but they they could I don't know. It's like that person's toxic though. Now we have the Queen of Cups here. So there's two different. Two different feminine energies out here. Earth energy and water energy. Why, what about the devil, though? The long way putting your life on hold is going to take a while. Yeah. The the, the water sign is the, the other person. What about this water sign? The high priestess. The ace of wands. And the wheel of fortune. Okay. And what... It's like, I feel like this person is starting to see that person differently. They're starting to feel like they're, they're getting a little afraid that they're losing. But what about this other third party, though? Divine timing. And we have seven of cups. I don't know. This person is extremely confused. They are starting to realize how they feel about you how versus how they feel about this other person. But let's see. I didn't value value your time and effort. Suffering in silence coming out again. It's like somebody has has a change has had a change in perspective about you. They've realized how much they love you and how deeply they feel for you. They want another chance with you, but they're not saying anything because they think that you're you're always reject them. Look, but it says I fear commitment. On top of that, they still don't even know if they are ready ready to settle down. I wish I could hurt you like you hurt me. And they're a little bit resentful towards you. I'm sorry isn't enough. You could have even told this person like that you can't forgive them or that their words mean nothing. Control issues. Or they know that their words won't be, them saying sorry won't be enough. I was kind of getting that they're kind of controlling too with the, when the emperor came out. Yeah. The waiting game. I don't know if you're the one. So like, 
guys i'm when i tell you like i just this really confused ass energy is so annoying let me be better for you okay but they don't know if you're the one let let's mend things i keep making the same mistake each lifetime we are not compatible i didn't want to be the bad guy it could have been so simple but you chose to be complicated yeah maybe you guys don't know if this person's the one anymore what, what does that do with this person i don't know if you're the one i deserve you what you did made me feel worthless and i cannot forgive you for it that's how i feel about you guys like you guys don't feel like you can forgive this person. this person feels like they're stuck it's like they're starting to open their eyes to what they've done and what they've lost and what they're missing out on and it's like they feel that like there's nothing that they can do about it anymore because you won't even give them the time of day or something like that i know what you've been hiding and watched you lie without even asking about it yet i want to make it work this time emotionally detached all fun and games I don't know. I feel like the, the tables have turned in this situation. I feel like you don't feel the same way about this person or you just don't feel like you can ever really forgive them. Like there's like this resentment energy. Um, when it comes to the, between the two of you. So that could be, but that could be why things are kind of like, but I see you guys, like you're going to get what you deserve with the Ace of Pentacles and Justice. Oh, so we have next year so it may not be today it may not be tomorrow it may not be a couple months from now but it is coming in soon okay it'll come in when it's supposed to come in we have hidden agenda ulterior motives and intentions will affect the outcome What's that about? Long term, current circumstances are leading to marriage. Okay, what about hidden agenda though? Open book, they want to get to know you on a deeper level and for you to get to know them. It's almost like somebody is planning to be, they're trying to be better for you, but it's like they're not telling you. Like I said, girl, uh, guys, it's like this person knows that them telling you that they're going to be better and that they're changing is not enough. So it's almost like they feel like they're going to have to show you they're going to have to have tangible proof that they've changed because either if not, you won't give them the time of day. You still might not give them the time of day then. But it's like somebody is like has this plan and this has been coming through a lot in the readings. They have this plan to come back towards you better to be better for you. So they're trying to get their situation together to come towards you better. But they're not telling you this. <laughs> it's like they're 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 coming. They're they're slowly making their way towards you. But they're not telling you what the plan is. It's like, this person does not like rejection. So they can't handle coming towards you and being like, look, I'm changing for you. I'm trying to be better for you. You and being like, you being like, fuck off. You know what I mean? So this person, there is somebody here who is planning the future with you long term. They're coming towards you with this ace of pentacles. They want to give you what you deserve. They're realizing how they really feel about you. They're realizing the depth of their emotions. They're taking a leap of faith on this connection. They're, they know exactly what they want now. Or they're getting very clear on exactly what they want. It is going to take some time for them to be able to come towards you and show you tangible proof that they've changed and that they're ready for what you have all have been ready for a long for a long time now. They're coming towards you a lot more open. They're coming towards you a lot more stable. But it's like they're not telling you. They're not telling you about this. And I feel like honestly, feel like when they do come back, it's gonna catch you off guard. We have abandonment. It says ghosting and disappearing acts left with no closure. And we have puppy love. Yeah, this was somebody that, whether you knew it or not, when you were dealing with them, they were like, they they had feelings for you, but it was just not as, it wasn't that deep, you know? It says butterfly feelings will be felt, but the way that, but this may be infatuation, not real love. Earth, yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So tell me more. We have fairy tale fantasies. It's almost like what the two of you had going on, it was very intense, but it wasn't like, it had not developed into real deep, like, there was obviously connection between you and this person, but it's like, yeah, release unrealistic expectations to avoid disappointments. I think you guys were dealing with a very emotionally immature person at the time. They just, yeah, illusions. 
things may may appear better than they actually are. Yeah, you guys were looking at the situation through world's clear glasses, but we have the time is now. It's swept up, see? Or somebody wasn't seeing something for what it was. Like they, they were trying to convince themselves that they didn't love you, possibly because they thought that you were going to abandon them. It's like somebody was, they felt feelings for you, but they were trying to make it seem like they were telling themselves it just wasn't real love. They just liked you, you know, or whatever. But somebody is starting to realize now that they were deceiving themselves because we have swept up a, whirl, a whirlwind. I can't say that word. Whirlwind romance will soon sweep you off your feet. What does this have to do? It says within a year. Yeah, I was kind of, when I saw next year, I was going to actually say within a year. What does that mean? This twin connection. We have very soon, I'm telling you. And we have, wow, guys, true love. The love of your life will catch you off guard. Didn't I just say that? That then when this person comes in, it's going to be like very shocking and out of the blue. In the most pleasant way, spirit says. I feel like this connection is also going to make you realize that like everything that you thought when you, you know, all the other situations you've been in where you thought that it was love, it wasn't that. And maybe they're realizing that too. Yeah, we have within three months, we have better off here. A blessing in disguise. Well, I'm here in the month of July, which I think is three months from now. Yeah. A blessing in disguise will soon make its way into your life, but it says don't wait around. We have shocking news. You will find something out about them that will shift your perspective. And then we have against all odds. Your love will conquer all obstacles and challenges thrown your way. So in a nutshell, somebody is realizing that they have deeper feelings for you than they've been trying to convince themselves that they, they did. Like... They're realizing that their feelings run a lot deeper for you than they thought. It's like somebody's been suppressing their feelings and emotions for you. But what is making it hit this person how they really feel? Is it because you rejected them? What is making this person realize? Yeah, we have open heart. Emotionally available and open to receiving your love. But what's making them do this? Like, I see that they're going through the dark night of the soul. I feel like the separation. Yeah, a heart given. A potential suitor is making their way towards you now, which I said. What is making them realize their feelings worth the risk? They feel like you're worth taking a risk for the fool. Great love is worth taking chances and making sacrifices within a few weeks. And we have reinvention. Yep. A period of self-improvement and self-growth. So it could just be as they're starting to really work on themselves and grow the hell up, they're realizing some things. Gossip. Someone is speaking about you and it's influencing their decisions. We have untamable. They aren't ready to settle down and aren't wanting to be restricted. Okay. Romance blooming, though. Your love life will soon be filled with a heightened energy of romance. And what about gossip and untamable? Speaking up, finding the courage to express what's in their heart. But what about retreat? Your intuition is off and your judgment is clouded. Take a step back before you make any major decisions. Yeah. Divine protection. I feel like the divine was guiding you to pull back your energy. To go into hermit mode to start focusing uh, to pull your energy back from this person because i feel like that is what yeah you guys have been giving this person tough love because they were putting you through too much they kept hurting you they kept betraying you they kept running in and out of your life so i feel like spirit was guiding you they weren't wanting to settle down and they were too influenced by the people around them so I feel like, yeah, it says trials and tribulations will have you feeling hurt and burned out. They put they were putting you through way too much. So I feel like spirit was telling you to take a step back to retreat. Yeah, they were guiding you to walk away from this person because you were growing and they weren't, right? You were outgrowing them and they were staying the same. It says in order to evolve, sometimes you have to leave what you've outgrown. And I feel like that's what you did. So you walking away from this person is, is making them realize yeah, baby steps. It may feel slow or delayed, but progression will still come of it. So you guys feel like things have been moving at a snail's pace with this person. If if you can see any change. Um, but the Spirit says this is what is manifesting. Even if it's been slow progress, what's been manifesting, it says symbiotic. A mutually, justice, ace of pentacles, a mutually beneficial relationship that will match your efforts in the connection. This person's actually coming towards you and wanting to grow with you, okay? So... So, 